hi there, students. I quite often get questions about how can I improve my writing? And one of the things I was thinking is a good way to make an interesting writing would be to use literary names, literary references. Names, lines from poems, names of books, things from songs, things like that. So let me give, an, give you an example. One day I felt that I really needed to be far from the madding crowd. So I went for a walk in the countryside and I wandered lonely as a cloud. And eventually I came across a place that was full of dark satanic mills. And I decided to have a look inside this place. Anyway, at that point, while I was looking around, up came uh, the great dictator and Sancho Bantha, two security guards, who told me to get out. So I left thinking, ah, it's a good thing that I shall never come this way again. And there, if you know your literary references, I've used various. So we have Far From the Madding Crowd, a novel by George Eliot, Away From People. I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud. This is from Daffodils by William Wordsworth. Um, OK, The Dark Satanic Mills. This is uh, from Jerusalem by William Blake. And then you have um, uh, The Great Dictator, which was a film by Charles Chaplin that got him into lots of trouble. And Sancho Panza is the um, sidekick, the helper, the servant of Don Quixote from uh, Don Quixote or Don Quixote um, by Cervantes. Okay, so by using... Um, these literary references, almost as metaphors, um, it adds a good touch of interest to your essay, and it really is quite an interesting way of doing it. Yeah. So this is one of the ways you could certainly spice up your essays. Um, you might protest, saying, "But I don't know any of these." Well. If you're going to speak really good English, it's a strong recommendation from me that you actually try reading uh, classic literature or reading classic poems. You don't need to understand them fully, yeah, but just go through them. Use them for vocabulary. Because as well, if you uh, read classic novels, another thing you can do is take examples of the structures they're using, the way particular collocations that they use, collocations, two or several words together that they use in a particular context. So when you're reading a book like this as well, write down the good phrases, pairs of words, little things that are very interesting, and then try using them um, when you actually write. Now, the other thing I say about writing is Practice, 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 practice. The more you practice your writing, the better your writing is going to be. Okay? Um, it's something you can't get around. Yeah? If you say, my writing's no good, um, but you don't practice, you're not going to get better. And uh, Practice is the, is the real key to it. So remember this tip that I've given you about using um, the names of classic novels, lines from classic poems, uh, titles, things from songs, yeah, um, all sorts of things like that. I'm sure you can think of uh, lines and words from songs that you know. Try to include those in your writing as well, because it will, it will add a lot of interest to them. So I guess that's enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.